I have the Geiger counter sitting on the lens because that's where the tube is situated. And I'm like getting uh, 1,650 counts per minute. That's scary, ain't it? Now that's right next to the lens, okay? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to remove this for a minute. I'm going to let this settle down. It takes a while for these Geiger tubes to go back to normal. It's still reading 1,550 counts per minute, dropping to 1,400, 1,300. I mean, the tubes get saturated. 1,100. Before I do anything, I want to stick it in the front. Let's see how many clicks we get. 600, 500, 400. Two hundred, one fifty six, it's holding steady at like one sixty, one something like that. So for at the front of the element, oh, just jumped up to one ninety. So let's say it's that far away from the film. Now the rear element, uh, I think it's cemented, and they have the thorium in it. So that's about the, the film plane distance, right? It's a 55 millimeter lens, so you want to be 55 millimeters away, maybe two inches. 419. I had this lens for 30 years. I bought the SP500 in some camera store that went into business. I think I paid 150 bucks for it. Now you got to remember that's in the 80s. There wasn't digital cameras back then, so that was a, it was an immaculate. Uh, my cat's gonna get radiated. Uh, that immaculate condition. That was a fair price back in the day. 640. This thing, 30 years old, still pumping out. They're supposed to get more radioactive as they get older. This one has some slight yellowing in it. I'm going to try and give the ultraviolet treatment see what happens. So this is a very radioactive lens. Now I'm going to move it uh, double the distance. Five fifty counts per minute. It's dropping from the graph. I could see it's dropping. 400. 350. 